Hey guys, so I'm gonna film a little Q&A right now putting this little everyday makeup five minute face on. I'm gonna answer the questions that you've all been asking for and you've all been waiting to hear. So if you wanna get the tea, then keep on watching. Okay, so there's a lot of questions so I'm kind of just gonna like shoot through them super duper quickly while I fix this. I also tinted my eyebrows last night, that's why they're hella dark and I lightened my hair in Tokyo so that's where we're at. Anyway, first question is from my friend Sam. She is Tokyo Goldfish. She's asked me, are you happy? And yes, I actually really, really am. I... <sighs> I wasn't in Tokyo for quite a long time because I was in a situation I couldn't escape from. And now that I'm here, I'm enjoying the sunshine. I'm going to the beach every day. I'm, I'm eating good, healthy food and surrounding myself with good people. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm happy. Have you ever been to Central Coast in New South Wales? No, I have not. I grew up in the Western suburbs, like Western Sydney. What will you be doing now that you are back in Australia? I have been back for exactly two weeks. Oh no, I've been back for two and a bit weeks, almost two and a half weeks, and I haven't looked for a job once. I have been in ultimate holiday mode, just like totally enjoying my time here and relaxing and trying to settle back in. Most people that I've talked to, they said like, don't rush it because they did rush it and they regretted it. So I'm just happy to relax and enjoy my time. Are you planning on going back to Japan? I mean like one day in the future, I will go back to Japan, but I have no plans to return yet. What are you going to do now in Australia? Are you planning another adventure elsewhere? This, th yeah, that was one of the most common questions. I worked in hospitality for 10 years before I went to Japan. And now that I've gotten out, I absolutely can't imagine going back to that. So it's just kind of finding out you know, where, what I'm capable of, what I'm confident in doing and where I can slot into next. Are you planning another adventure elsewhere? I am not. I have a trip to Melbourne coming up and a trip to Sydney coming up and a trip up north to the countryside coming up, but that's about it. Just kind of staying local for now. I'm so tired. I just literally woke up 10 minutes ago. And my battery's gonna die. Next question. Why did you leave Tokyo if you liked it so much? This is kind of a tricky one because I loved Tokyo. I had been there twice before I moved there, but then I didn't love Tokyo anymore. To visit Tokyo and to live in Tokyo is two very, very, very different things. Or to visit other parts of Japan and then live in Tokyo is very different things. There is just the culture, the morals, the expectations. This is a really hard one to get into, so I will make another video on this later. But yes, I did love Tokyo and then I didn't. <laughs> Uh, what do you miss most about Japan? That would 100% have to be convenience. You know, there's a convenience store on every corner. All shops are open till like nine or 10 at night, you know, whether it's like grocery store or like Fro 21 or like just anything. Any store is open till so late and it's so good. And I miss that. I miss the convenience of being, you know, a what oh, junkie, what's English? vending machine everywhere. You know, I miss I miss the convenience, that's for sure. And low prices. <laughs> Australia is really expensive, you guys. <laughs> like really expensive. So yeah, I miss the, uh, the convenience and the low prices. I didn't categorize any of these questions. I didn't put them all together. I'm just rattling them off one by one. So I'm sorry if any are somewhat repeated. How do you deal with all the giant spiders? Oh, there's not that many. There's, it's such a hugely common misconception that there's so many spiders overrun the whole of Australia, but there's not. There's certain spiders, like ones that you need around, like daddy long legs and stuff that, I don't know. On my first day back, I encountered two of them and I was just like, hey guys, what's up? You doing your thing? I'll do my thing. We good. There's not spiders everywhere they're gonna kill you what is your dream youtube collaboration that is a good question jones to japan i had some amazing opportunities whilst i was in japan i um collaborated with a lot of different prefectures and hotels and companies and stuff like that my dream youtube collaboration would be travel based and it would be you know somewhere that it'd send me to a hotel or on a on a vacation somewhere in the world for me to create content for them that's yeah that's definitely my dream youtube job 
But any plans what you want to work as now? Keep modeling. I kind of address this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I might keep modeling a little bit, but there's a huge difference between modeling in a Western country and modeling in a Asian country because in an Asian country, you're kind of like a rare commodity. Like you're so special, you know, they really value you. Whereas here, there's a million of me and better. So yeah, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot different, a lot harder here, but I'm going to give it a red hot shot. Would you ever come live in Sydney? No. I mean, like never say never. One of my best friends lives in Sydney and she has a spare room, but it's just so expensive. And I've just come back from living in the biggest city in the world. So for me, I'm just really enjoying this laid back lifestyle. What's your favorite spot on the GC? Brie Rose Bailey. Brie, 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 Brie. That is a tricky question. I don't know. I have been gone for two years, so I don't know what's good anymore. I really love Nobby's Beach. That's one of my favorite areas and Burley, Burley Hill and stuff like that. I really like that. What would you do for work now? Stay here model? Uh, same question. Gonna try. Obviously I can't be like editorial or fashion model here, but I can try for commercial and promotional. Hey girl, if you weren't doing YouTube or modeling, what kind of job would you be doing? I kind of see myself next, like going into like a hotel maybe, or marketing or something. I can't see myself sitting alone at a desk because my mind would go crazy, <laughs> let's be honest. I kind of need that interaction, I suppose. So maybe like hotel check-in or something like that. I honestly don't know. It's just whatever I feel like I have the confidence to do. Where are you staying? Gold Coast, baby, I've got an apartment. This is, this is she. It is amazing. It is so cute and bright and overflowing with plants and I am obsessed with it. So here's my number. Call me maybe. What are your plans for the rest of the year since now you're back in Australia? It's a little similar questions. Hey, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yes, I realized I didn't set my face. I can't be bothered to go get the powder. I don't know. I'm just taking it easy. Gonna find a job somewhere. Gonna do some traveling. I'd like to go spend Christmas with my family in New South Wales because I haven't spent Christmas with them in 12 years. And I've been away for two years and I miss my dad's 50th, so. I would love to go down to New South Wales and spend Christmas with them. Just enjoying life, making new friends, gonna find a job, gonna try my hand at modeling in Australia again. And yeah, that's it. No real plans, I guess. What's your favorite city in Australia? I haven't, um, I haven't visited all the cities in Australia to be able to tell you what's my favorite city. The longest I've ever lived somewhere was here. My mom was a bit of a gypsy. She moved us around every three years in Australia. So the longest I ever lived was here for five years before I lived in Tokyo for almost two years. I really love Melbourne though. Like without a doubt, Melbourne is the best place in Australia. It's, it's got fashion, it's got culture, it's got art, it's got no drinking rules, it's got, massive cafes like coffees it's like yeah melbourne is the best city in australia hands down <laughs> how are you finding returning home um okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys the first two days were pretty horrible if you follow me on twitter you would have seen i just i posted a couple of tweets it's not having a good time i was staying with my cousin and i appreciate everything she's done for me so much she really she scooped me up from the airport and she kept me distracted. She let me run all my errands. Like she was amazing to me and I'm so grateful to have her in my life. But yeah, my first two days were just like, I don't want to do this. I was just crying. I was like, what is home? Where am I? Like what happens next? Just adjusting. So it was just two days. I thought it was going to be like weeks and months that I was going to be going through this like hella struggle, but no, it was just uh, two days that I just was really down in the dumps and then yeah, I was uh, picked back up by another amazing person and all is good now. I'm happy, happy, happy. It's a, it's adjusting, like my skin is like broken out. I've put on weight because I'm eating all of the foods that I missed over the last two years, which is fine. Like it's absolutely fine to put on weight, but I just need to, I'm, I'm in holiday mode. Like I'm not working. I'm just hanging out all day, every day. I'm like going to the beach. I haven't been exercising. So once I get, you know, into a routine and get a job and everything, it will all be like, settled and chill. Where do you want to go next? So Nate, for many, many, many years, three years, I had this dream of going and moving to the UK. I wanted to do a two year working holiday visa. I wanted to spend a year in London or around London and a year um, in Edinburgh. And then certain things changed in my life. And I feel like that was not really what I was aiming for anymore. So 
I don't know, I would love to go somewhere tropical like Thailand or Bali. That's definitely on my next, next list. Where to go next? Um, when are you going back to Japan? Answered this one I guess a couple of times. I don't see it happening anytime soon. Not really within the next year or anything. Yeah, I don't know. One day, I'll definitely go back. I still have all my friends there. I thought that maybe I'd get back here and I'd hate it and then I'd go and move back, but I mean it's only two weeks in, but I'm good, hey. Um, good. All right, so. The question that you're all here for. Every time that I post about a q and I get this question, so I'm not going to pop it up on the screen or tell you guys who asked me, but many people have asked, are you single? <laughs> um, so to not delve into things too much or to, you know, give away so much of our private lives, Storm and I are no longer together. We have not been together for a while. Um, we started having really bad issues um, in January and then by May it was pretty much done. And then in June it was finalized. We still had to live together. Um, you know, we didn't tell anyone, we didn't tell our friends, we didn't tell our family. We didn't really want to make it any more difficult than what the situation already was. So we were still living together um, just as housemates. Um, sorry, my um, camera died. So I'm just going to film this on my iPhone. Um, yeah, so we were still living together as housemates and it was difficult. Um, but there's like no hard feelings towards us now. It was very, very toxic. Has been for the last five years. Um, we both just kind of decided that we were two very different people that had two very different ideas about how a relationship should work and how other people should be treated and our expectations of other people and stuff like that. You know, we were on and off for five years. We gave it everything, everything that we can to the point that we were drained and it was just a very very bad environment to be around and and if you're friends with us you know exactly what it was like it was it was bad it was really bad so yeah we finally decided to call it quits um no we haven't spoken since we've been back in australia we just said goodbye at the airport gave each other a hug and that was it so it's inevitable we will run into each other um sooner or later but right now we're taking our time apart to just you know, readjust and get back into normal life here um, and everything like that. I, he's probably watching this um, and I just wish him all the best. Um, and yeah, hope he's happy and moves on. I'm, I'm really happy, <laughs> like really, really happy. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird to talk about. I didn't ever really want to have to make one of these videos, but you know, sooner or later it had to be announced or whatever and we had to start telling people, especially if other people come into our lives and I just kind of got sick of everyone that I saw that I hadn't seen for so long. It was like, how storm? I'm like, you know, that's, 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 that chapter is closed. That book is closed. That series, season, everything is closed. It is done and dusted. So yeah, that's it. Uh, we're no longer together. We won't get back together. I'm really, really, really happy. I'm enjoying my life here. I don't have plans to go back to Japan anytime soon. I don't have a job yet. I am gonna try modeling. I am gonna travel a little bit more and I am still doing live streaming and you guys, don't unfollow me because you won't. You think you won't be seeing Japan content because I have so much more Japan content coming your way. Like, do not worry. In saying that, some of the content is really old. So yes, Storm will still be in some of those videos. That's inevitable. I was really lazy and I didn't get around to editing videos from like a year and a half ago or a year ago. So yes, he will still be in some of those videos. So don't like freak out and think, oh, they're back together. No, this is old, old footage from in Japan. So yes, there is still on my Instagram and on my YouTube, there will still be plenty more Japan content coming your way, you guys. So be patient, let me adjust, and I will fling that content your way very, very soon. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today. And um, I really appreciate that you respect both mine and Storm's privacy at this time in our lives. And yeah, let's just leave it at that. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in so long, but I will get back into a routine really soon and I'll see you guys then. Thank you. Bye-bye.